Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I apologize if you hear some banging going on upstairs. They are currently doing construction on the apartment above me and they said it would finish within a week and it's been like a month and a half now and it's still going on. It's driving me insane, so sorry about that. Today I wanted to do a winter fashion haul. I've been doing lots of online shopping recently because Japan decided to close down two of probably the three stores that I am able to buy clothing from. It's really hard to find things that fit my body correctly here and uh, Forever 21 and American Eagle are both shutting down in Japan and it's such a shame because those are the only places that I could buy pants. So I decided to try out some online shops that I had seen lots of YouTubers do hauls from. It seemed like their clothes were cute but unfortunately most of the things I ordered did not fit me and I had to donate about 80% of them but you guys will be seeing the 20% today that I really like and hopefully you guys will find some pieces that you like as well. I've been getting lots of questions about the sweaters I've been wearing. You guys have been wondering where I got them. So Glasses USA was kind enough to sponsor this fashion video today and they've sent me a box of five pairs of glasses. Unlike shopping for clothes online, shopping for glasses is awesome because they have a tool where you can try on the glasses before you order them so you know what they're gonna look like and you won't be disappointed when you get them in person. I thought I would try out some funky colors this time so a couple of of these glasses are are in some fun shades my my favorite round shape again but I thought I would try out a fun color this time I'm really into this mint color recently I think it's super cute these next ones are just a simple black but I don't think I've ever had a pair of round glasses in black so I figured I should add this staple to my collection and I'm so happy I did because yeah these are great I feel like these will probably become my go-to glasses uh, for the next little while because they're so comfortable. These round frame glasses are so light, you can barely feel you're wearing them. I think that's why I love them so much. So I've got this pair of glasses in black and I noticed that they came out with a clear version. I thought I would try them out because I love the black ones. They're like my nerdy grandpa glasses. They're definitely not something I would wear on an everyday basis, but they're kind of fun every once in a while if you want that nerdy vibe. I really liked the shape of these ones. They kind of had a cat eye thing going on on the edge so I thought I would like them. They look like they're just black but if you look up close there's actually a gold rim on the inside and the arms are gold as well and they match well with my gold earrings that I've been wearing all the time. This last pair are actually like way out of the range of colors and styles that I would normally wear but again I wanted to try something fun and I find that I wear lots of grays and blacks especially in the winter so I thought I would add a little bit of color to my wardrobe with these bright red sunglasses. <laughs> I actually kind of like them. I think they're so fun. Wouldn't they look cute with like a black wool overcoat? These are actually a collab with Hilary Duff. She has lots of really nice designs. Actually her glasses are some of my favorites on the site so do check out her collection. I will have the links to all these glasses down below in the description box. If you are in the market for a new pair of glasses do check out glassesusa.com. Their prices are very affordable and they have hundreds of styles including brand name glasses as well that you can get for a much lower price than usual. All right let's move on to clothes. I'm gonna start with the sweater that I'm wearing right now. I love this one. I find myself wearing it a lot and it was super affordable. This was 13 pounds from Rebellious Fashion. It's a UK brand. I love how loose it is. The arms are also kind of loose and baggy. It's just so comfortable and it's not itchy at all. For the price, the quality is really nice. I I'm really impressed with it. My next grey sweater that you guys have seen in a lot of my videos is this tight turtleneck. This is definitely a form-fitting sweater. It's extremely tight on me. If you're looking for a nice form-fitting sweater, I do really like the look of this one, but again, it's a little itchy, so if you think that's gonna really bother you, then maybe skip this one, but I, I do like the look of it. 
The next sweater I got is from Zaffle. You'll see so many YouTubers doing Zaffle hauls. I don't know if they're sponsored or what, but I was so disappointed with my Zaffle order. I think I ordered eight or nine different things, and this is the only piece that looks how it was advertised and actually fits me. Everything else, the sleeves were super short or it was just way too cropped. The sizes were a lot smaller than they made them look out to be. In the descriptions of the items, they even said that it was American sizing. There is no way this is American sizing. It's definitely Asian sizing, so keep that in mind if you order from them. The sweater only came in one size. Luckily, it's a slightly looser fit, so it does fit me. I really love the wine color of it. It's such a shame that this is the only item I got from Zaffle that I liked. If you have a similar body type to mine, I do not recommend ordering from them. I feel like you'll be very disappointed. This next sweater I would like to mention, I've actually had it for a year now. I was given it as a gift last Christmas and it is just such nice quality. This is a luxury sweater. It certainly isn't cheap. I looked up the brand Holland Cooper and their sweaters like this sell for about a hundred pounds. It's got some really nice gold button detailing on the arms and on the shoulders that I absolutely love. I've been wearing this for a year now and it is starting to pill a little bit in the areas where like your arms rub against your side. Can you see that? But considering I've had it for a whole year and I have worn it numerous times, it really isn't bad at all. So if you're looking to invest in a really nice sweater that could be a staple piece in your wardrobe, I do recommend this company. They have really cute designs. And the last sweater... I wish I could tell you guys the name of the shop I got this from. This is the sweater, the big, huge, cozy cardigan I was wearing in my camping videos. I got this at a shop in Eon Shopping Mall in Japan, just like a standard Japanese clothing shop. Do not know the name of it, but if you do live in Japan, you should be able to find this at one of the clothing stores in Eon. All right, next moving on to bottoms. I am really into plaid. I think it's really cute for fall, winter. Goes nice with the sweaters. This first pair of trousers is from Zara. There's a clasp in the front to do them up as well as a button. And in the back they have an elastic, which is kind of nice. Another cool thing about these pants is they have real pockets. They're not just those fake pretend pockets. So that's good if you want something similar but a little more casual. Forever 21 has lots of plaid leggings. They kind of look like proper pants but they're really just stretchy leggings. There's no pockets or anything in these. This next pair of pants I am so bummed about because they don't fit me but I feel like if they did fit they would be so flattering and I would wear them all the time. I got them in the largest size available which was size 12. These are also from Rebellious Fashion which is a UK brand so I think their sizes are a bit smaller. A size 12 in the UK is definitely not an American size 12 as you can see. They do have lots of stretch to them. If you think you would fit into these pants nicely, I highly recommend them because I can imagine they would just be super cute if they fit me nicely. Maybe after I start going to the gym again, I'll be able to squeeze into these <laughs> one day. I really hope so. I will keep them in my closet uh, in hopes that they will one day fit me. I actually only wear skirts in the winter because I like to wear them with tights and boots. So I got this checkered mini skirt from Boohoo. I think it was only like 11 pounds. This is a size 10 and it just fits me. So again, I think UK sizes are a little smaller than American. So be careful with that if you're ordering from a UK company. It's a pretty simple skirt. The, the material is quite thin, but the quality is decent. For 11 pounds, I can't complain. This next skirt, however, I can complain about because it is the shittiest thing I've ever seen. Can I just show you? This is an example of some of the clothes that I had to get rid of because they were just so ridiculous. First of all, it's tiny. What the hell? How is this a size 10? This is the tiniest little skirt I've ever seen and the material is so shit. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like the material that crappy underwear from Walmart would be made out of. Like, it's so see-through. And it's so tiny that it would stretch immensely when you put it on, making it even more see-through. Like, what the heck? Stay away from this skirt. This was only five pounds. I should have known that it was gonna be crap because the price is a lot lower than the other ones. But the pictures looked really nice. And last but not least, I invested in a really cute fluffy jacket from Fila. I got this while I was in Korea last. They are really into this like boa material they call it here. I don't know what you guys call this. It's like a fluffy fleece. It's really popular right now in Japan and Korea so you'll see all the sports stores doing cute jackets like this. It's so soft and warm. I really do find myself wearing it a lot. And that is it. I ordered lots more clothes, but they were all shit. So unfortunately, I don't have anything else to show you. If you guys have any recommendations for online clothing shops that have quality clothing that actually fits decently, please do let me know. I am struggling. Thank you again so much to Glasses USA for sponsoring this video and sending me some cute glasses because I'm going to use that money to buy some clothes that fit me properly when I go back to Canada this winter. Thanks so much for watching guys. The links to all the things I showed in this video will be down below in the description box and I will see you again tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Bye for now.